Hey guys, long time no see. My name's Christina and today I wanted to talk about a really handy software called Materialize, which allows you to generate height maps, normal maps, metallic maps, ambient occlusion maps, and so on using just a regular image as a starting point. I'll also briefly talk about how I, for example, use Midjourney to generate texture images, specifically to be used as a normal map and how I then use those normal maps in Substance Painter to add some details to my 3D models. Oh, and note that Materialize only works for Windows at this very moment. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to start out in Midjourney and note that I am using a paid version as I don't think it's free anymore. I'm not quite sure. Either way, I mostly use Midjourney to generate textures for my 3D models and as reference inspiration. So when typing out a prompt, I usually try to make the lighting as neutral as possible. That way, when I'm lighting it in a scene, I have more flexibility. I also try to make the perspective as neutral as possible, as if I'm kind of viewing it straight on. For example, here I've typed in realistic orthographic view of a fantasy creature mural in relief style and then neutral lighting after. I'll just use this one as an example. So in materialize, you just hit the O button to open a file. And using the right mouse button, you can move the canvas around. So now you can kind of start generating texture maps. With the height, I press create and it will show you a little comparison between the old texture and the new texture. And this is what I like about Materialize because you can customize it quite a bit. Now, I am most interested in just the normal map, but in order to create that, we first need to create the height map. So I'm just gonna mess with the sliders a bit. Um, yeah, sure, that looks okay. When you feel ready, you just hit the set as height map button and we can finally start creating our normal map. And just like with the height map, you can mess around with the sliders or even use the presets until you've got a good enough result. So after hitting the set as normal map button, instead of continuing down the line, I'm gonna hit the S that stands for save and call it something and save it somewhere on my PC. Now for the fun part. You can either use this as a texture in Blender right away, as it will immediately give off the effect of something more three-dimensional, or you can use the normal map to brush in details on a 3D model in Substance Painter. Let's jump in and I'll show you how to do that. Here's a little part of a scene that I'm working on for an illustration. So let's say I'd like to paint in some normal map details onto this surface. I'm going to create a new paint layer and after having imported my normal map as a texture, I can deselect all of the materials except for normal and move that texture over to the normal map slot and basically just press once to sort of paint it in and adjusting the hardness and size you have quite a bit of flexibility. You can also just delete the alpha entirely and just fill the entire mural. Or if you want to paint in specific details, you can switch to projection mode and drag the normal map over to the normal map input. And now you can freely paint in what you want. In order to change the size, rotation and placement, you need to hold the S button while doing operations. So S and right click on the mouse scales it, S and left click rotates it and S and middle mouse button moves it. Also, if you ever want to snap the rotation back to zero or snap the camera into orthographic view, you just add the shift button to the end of each operation. So yeah, these are just two different methods of basically doing the same thing. I think Materialize is such a hidden gem. There's just so much you can do with such a simple piece of software. This is just an example of how I use it, but obviously you can use it to create a full texture set, including ambient occlusion, metallic, and so on. I will link to the website where you can download it. It's completely free and it's also open source. So yeah, props to the people who made it. Hope you guys enjoy this short little video. Thanks so much for watching and yeah, see you later.